Yo, yo, happy new year, everybody. I'm back once again. This is me, Mr. Q-U-E, with a new installment of Minor Notes, and I'm so glad about this year because we're going to be doing some things a little differently. It's going to be special, and I have a special guest feature on this song, Writing Expressions. I hope you like it. Look, expressions are easy to write. That's right. Just look for the keywords. Look for the keywords like less than, difference, and decrease. How can we write two less than a number? Well, this is subtraction because I see less than, but the number is not known. So I use a variable. Please don't write two minus x all because the two shows up first. Nah, we have to think about this. You want two less than a number, so take two away from that number. X take away two or x minus two. A number less than two is written different. And don't use an equal sign when writing expressions. A real simple lesson. Just listen to Miss Cohen Q. Writing expressions uh. inside of my head. Then I get my paper. I put it right there. And when I read less than difference or decrease, I know it's subtraction, I know it's subtraction. Oh yes, I can diminish by the difference. Take away minus less than. These keywords, they indicate you should subtract, you should subtract. Yes, yes, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed the latest Minor No song. So what I want to do is take this time to introduce the singer and teacher, Miss Co. Hello. All right, Miss Co. You ready to go? I am. Okay, so what are we doing today? Today we're going to learn about how to write expressions using subtraction. Hey, Mr. Q? Yes. Can you help me out? Okay, no problem. What are some key words that we can use to indicate subtraction? Well, there are a few key words, but today we're going to look at diminished by, diminished by, difference, difference, decreased, decreased, less than, less than, and minus, just to name a few. And what is the most important thing you need to remember about expressions? The most important thing is no, no equal signs. signs. Also, an expression includes a number, a number, an operation, an operation, and a variable. And a variable. Hey Q, what's a variable? Well, a variable, look, it's very simple. You can use any letter in the alphabet, okay? So like I said on Mind of a Madman, we use variables to represent unknown numbers. Very good. So let's take a look at a written expression that we're going to translate now. Go ahead and read it for me. Okay, let's check this out. Six less than a number. Okay, which key words tell you to subtract? I see the key words less than. All right, and what number are you given? I am given the number six. The number six, very good. All right, so which variable are you going to choose? I have the letter Q and the letter C. Well, my favorite color is blue, and I'm Mr. Q, so you know what I'm going to do? Well, where are you going to put those things? <laughs> well, I know this. I know that the written expression says six less than the number, uh -huh. so I will put Q minus six as my expression. Q minus six. Yes. I don't really get it. How come you didn't write six minus Q? Well, this is why. Let's imagine that you have 10 U.S. dollars, Miss Co. All right. And I ask you a question. What is 6 less than 10? 6 less than 10 is 4. It's 4, right? So, would you write this expression 6 minus 10 just because you have a 6 given to you first in the expression? Does that make sense? No, because 6 minus 10 is negative 4. I would have to write it as 10 minus 6 to give me 4. Exactly. So what that tells us is you can't always just put the number first when you have a written expression that says less than, you might get your answer wrong. That's right. So you kind of have to flip-flop, don't you? You got to do the flip-flop. All right. So now that we know how to use less than, we're going to give you a new expression. Okay. We're going to start with the number 10. Okay. And we're going to use subtraction. All right. And our variable is going to be C, because I'm Miss Coat, just so you know. <laughs> now, turn to your partner or tell your teacher how many different keywords you can use to write this expression. 